Police have tonight confirmed that the body discovered in the River Wire in Lancashire yesterday is that of Nicola Bully, the 45-year-old mother of two who went missing more than three weeks ago. Her body was spotted by dog walkers about a mile away from where she was last seen. Tonight, in a statement, her family was scathing about the way some in the media and members of the public have behaved over recent weeks, including accusing Nicola's partner of wrong wrongdoing, which they said was appalling. Judith Moritz reports. The Lancashire landscape has held on to its secret for the last three weeks. The river wire snaking its way through the fields here held the answer all along. What happened to Nicola Bully? Now we know. Sadly, we are now, now able to confirm that yesterday we recovered Nicola Bully from the River Wire. Nicola's family have been informed and are, of course, devastated. Our thoughts are with them at this time, as well as with all her loved ones and the wider community. We will never be able to comprehend what Nikki had gone through in her last moments, and that will never leave us. We will never forget Nikki. How could we? Nikki, you are no longer a missing person. You have been found. We can let you rest now. We love you. Always have and always will. We will take it from here. Nicola Bully was walking her dog near St Michael's on Wire when she was last seen in a field on January the 27th. Her phone was later discovered on a bench next to the water. Yesterday, her body was found downriver, about a mile away. The area had been searched with sonar equipment and divers, but somehow Nicola lay undiscovered for 24 days. She was found by members of the public near to this river bend. The currents would be very low and a, a relatively large physical body in a water column would not move anywhere near as fast as the current. Lancashire police said all along that they believed Nicola had fallen into the water, but the force has been criticised for its response and especially for its decision to release personal details about the mother of two. When the cameras have left this village and the posters and ribbons have been taken down, the police and the media will have some soul-searching to do, including whether the relationship between them had any influence on the way the case itself was handled. Bob Eastwood was a chief superintendent with Lancashire Police. Now retired from the force, he thinks it's been unfairly criticised, though sees this case as a game-changer. Can you separate out the way the communications were dealt with and, well, and the investigation? I, I think there became a big beast that was uh, hungry for information. People were going out for their own information. People were making things up. Uh, experts were adding to it and quite clearly, in my view, they were making it up based on no evidence whatsoever. The yellow ribbons still fluttering were supposed to signify hope. Tonight, that has run out. Now Nicola Bully's family know she's not coming back. The mystery of her disappearance ending with the saddest of answers. Judith Moritz, BBC News, Lancashire. Well, as you heard, Nicola's family say they are appalled by the way her disappearance has been treated by some in the media and by members of the public. There has certainly been huge public interest since she vanished, particularly on social media, where amateur detectives took to sites like TikTok to try to solve the mystery themselves. Our disinformation correspondent, Mariana Spring, looks at why Nicola captivated so many. So why did TikTok sleuths descend on the village where Nicola Bully disappeared? My social media feeds have been awash with videos speculating about Nicola Bully's disappearance, not only clips of people visiting the scene, but sinister conspiracy theories denying the reality of what's happened. One detective at Lancashire Police said she'd not seen anything like it in 29 years. A TikToker was even arrested and fined after he live-streamed himself at a house opposite where Nicola went missing. There's also been a huge amount of media interest in the case, but it's this social media frenzy that really makes it stand out. Tourists travelling to the scenes of disappearances is nothing new, nor are true crime sleuths online, but TikTok in particular seems to be sucking in a huge number of people. As of Friday, the 17th of February, TikTok videos discussing Nicola Bully's case and using her name as a hashtag had accumulated over 270 million views. 
In comparison, posts and videos using these same phrases on other major social media sites have had less traction when analysing a combination of engagement, mentions and views. Caroline, who lives in a town nearby and had been sharing videos about this on TikTok, told me she's seen hundreds of videos pushing false suggestions. In messages to me, she said, being a mum myself, I think it's nice to see people sharing, hoping it might just trigger someone to come forward. I also think that people trying to help search for anything that may locate Nicola's whereabouts is great too. Some of the things they point out in the videos make you think maybe they are onto something. This has had a huge impact on those in the local community who've been targeted. I spoke to Oliver, whose family owns the caravan park close to where Nicola was last seen. Filming the house, taking pictures, printing our address, um, naming us all online. My 79-year-old grandmother, who at times has been frightened to leave the house. It's not a set. We're, we're real people in this community, and of course, the, the worst, the worst of, of the abuse and torment has been angled at, at, at the Bully family. And TikTok said its thoughts are with Miss Bully's family and friends at this difficult time. It says it does not tolerate bullying or harassment on TikTok, and that it removes content that violates its policies. And this isn't just about social media. A significant number of people, well-versed in online conspiracy theories, presented with a complex disappearance at a time when trust in the police is low, is the perfect storm. And Nicola's family, in their statement tonight, have directly criticised parts of the media too. Questions now loom over how the police investigation has been hampered by this online frenzy, and how forces all over the country will deal with this next time it happens.